Today on Block Success Channel, three ways to build your email list. All right, building an email list is one of the best and most lucrative ways to stay in touch with your followers, right? Followers being people who care about the stuff and the niche that you're in, okay? And you wanna build that list as much also as possible. Also, best way to make some money. Exactly, it's a great way to make some money to keep the revenue going. Three ways to start your list growing today. Okay, first one, offer a freebie, okay? Give them something for their email list, okay? Because people, you know, they're handing something over so they want something in return. So you can do a free report or a free how-to instructional video or promise the answer to their problem, whatever it may be, okay? And it's even better if you can put this freebie in the kind of format like an e-course where you're gonna break it into parts and send them a little bit every few days or a little bit every week because one, this gets them to expect emails from you and to open them and two, to click on a link and act. So you're training them, so I see this email, I open it, I read it, I click. I open it, I read it, I click. You're teaching them to do yes, that. Yes, absolutely. And minor pet peeve, I've said this before, I know I have, nobody wants your damn newsletter. Nobody wants to know that next week you're gonna start posting more often. They don't give a damn. Nobody cares. Focus on the stuff Jennifer just said. They want a great report, they want a freebie, something useful to what they, the topic they care about. They don't care if you're posting more or less often and you're gonna let them know about your changes in your office kitchen. Nobody cares. They want the stuff Jennifer talked about. Just, I see so many of them sign up to my newsletter. No, nobody signs up. All right. Number two, make it visible. Your sign up form should be above the fold. It should be visible in your face. If they don't see it, they're not signing up, right? It's location, 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 right? Your site, real estate. It totally is the whole real estate thing all over again. Where you put it matters. If it's in their face, they're gonna see it, and if it's got a great offer on it, they may take you up on that great offer. And if you have good content, people will scroll down to get to the content. Exactly. Believe it or not, they will every time. Exactly, if you got fluff and crap, they're gonna be like, click next. Anyway, and include a no spam policy to soothe any concerns. You know, just make them feel fuzzy that you're, and make sure you don't spam. Yeah, don't spam. Okay, now here's one that's been controversial in the past, um, you know, and it's one of those things we thought long and hard before we started doing it, but use a pop-up or hover-in opt-in form. You know, a new visitor comes to your site, they've been there for 30 seconds, they're reading your stuff, give them a form, give them an option to download that free report, to watch this really cool video, to give you their email address. It can be a bit aggressive, and look, this is for first-time visitors only, okay? You don't want to show this every time somebody comes to your site. Just first-time visitors, and it really works. So far on our sites, that gets the highest opt-in rate of any other location for a form. Now, yeah. here's the thing, Aweber, that's who we use to host our email list, makes this so easy to create forms and to make it a hover in or to put it in your nav. They make this so easy. If you're not using Aweber, go to blogsuccessjournal.com slash Aweber, and you can try it for a month for $1, okay? $1 for your first month. Give them a try, they've got a lot of really great reports, forums and help for you to get started with your opt-in form. More importantly, it just works. We've tried them, we've tried the other ones, and we use them because they work. So, blogsuccessjournal.com slash Aweber, try it yourself and start building that list.